I just want to start off with that uh, pass breakup you had in the end zone and talk about what you saw in that play, but also you know how big of a play that was for this team. Um, it was pretty big. I knew they were going to come my way just because it, uh, he sits eight um, big receivers, so I'm looking at it the whole time. And I just played what um, the technique coach Matt told me to do, and it came out the right way. How good did that feel? Great. <laughs> Fourth down, so he can't get no better. Uh, Drew, um, coming in for Nate Lamon after his, after his ejection, um, how, how good did I feel to be back at inside linebacker? It kind of felt like I was just going back to what I knew last year. Uh, it's kind of like from last year, I can remember uh, kind of not knowing what I was doing and kind of getting better at it. And then shifting to outside linebacker this year, I kind of started a new position. So uh, just going back to what I knew, uh, it didn't make me too nervous at all because kind of just, you know, falling back to what I knew best. Drew, you got 52,000 people on their feet when you made the hit on uh, on Harry on the punt return. Can you take us through the, the play? Because you got blocked out. and How, how did that all kind of transpire? Yeah, no, it was pretty bizarre, to be honest. But I can remember I got uh, – I might have been double teamed at first, so I got pushed to the out of bounds. And I almost uh, knocked out Coach Mack, actually. <laughs> but um, I kind of just kept on going because I knew the play was still going on. So uh, as soon as I got back in bounds, I don't think number one saw me at all. So I kind of just uh, – Blindsided him, I think, and uh, felt pretty good. Rick, you guys continue to play really good defense in the second half, and I think held them to seven points the second half today, nothing in the last 28 minutes. So you talk about how this game was different and what it meant to you guys to play that type of defense today. Uh, I think just going in the, to the locker room at halftime and just kind of talking through things through of what happened in the first half and just seeing the mistakes we made and just being able to talk to each other and know all right, we hurt ourselves with penalties uh, and just missed tackles and just know, uh, talking to each other and looking at everybody in the eye and just knowing that in the second half you got that trust with each other and just keep playing, just keep playing, keep fighting. And knowing the offense we have, just keep getting them. If we more times we get them the ball, they're going to make something happen. And just having that trust in, as a team within each other definitely does help. How you guys have done that several times this year, played better in the second half? How much confidence do you guys take into the second half knowing that that's usually when you play your better defense? Uh, I just think the more the more we keep this going, the more confidence just builds for both sides of the ball. And I just think every, uh, everybody's just having more confidence, especially in that second half, getting that uh, that break at halftime, uh, getting things worked out, uh, figuring out what hurt us in that first half, uh, fixing the little mistakes, changing a couple things for the second half. And I think just coming out that energy of knowing the second half, uh, we it's a new ball game. Anything else for the players? Drew, I'd asked you this week about you know last year's ASU game and how they kind of took it to you at the end, and you said that you would remember that. And this time, uh, you guys were able to you know buckle up in the second half. Was that ever on your mind at all today? No, actually, it really did cross my mind uh, midway through the game because I can remember the feeling last year of being up by so much going in the second half and letting it go. And uh, I feel like part of it was on me not being able to stop the run. So I definitely took part of that personal and applied that to the game tonight or today. So. Um, I'm happy the way it ended out for us. One last thing for Delrick, because uh, this is new to you playing uh, Division One football, but this was the largest crowd here in eight years. What did it feel like for you uh, being in that atmosphere, 52,000 people? Uh, it feel great, you know, playing Folsom Field, nothing like it. So playing, you know, make a big play, the whole uh, stadium get loud. I, I love playing Folsom. Wow.